Hey guys, William Mary Zara here on your roommate like what you wrote. I'd like to discuss two things today. Ori and a person's guardian Orisha. So Ori spelled O R I refers to two things. Your head and the Orisha Ori. So your head, your physical head, is sometimes referred to as Leti. But your inner self, or your higher self, or your soul, is Ori. And the Orisha Ori is pretty much one and the same. Because Ori is a personalized Orisha for every person. Okay? Okay. Why do we receive a physical manifestation of Ori if we have Ori? Because sometimes it is necessary for us to offer Ori things that not, we cannot place on or inside of our Ori. Within the realm of Lugumi, receiving Ori is very uncommon. But it happens. We do receive Ori. And again, Ori also refers to our heads, our inner mind, our soul, or our higher selves. That is Ori. Now, a person's guardian Orisha. Every person has a guardian Orisha. Every single human has a guardian Orisha. Now, as I've mentioned in previous videos, our destiny, as well as our guardian Orisha, is predetermined before we are born into this world. So how it works is, before we make the conscious decision to descend upon the earth and are born in Olorun, essentially heaven we go to the house of Orisha Ajala and Ajala is a potter a master potter a craftsman and his job is to make everyone's Ori okay so when you go to Ajala he lives